Music producer Rivoningo Zipego Mtombeni has made a comeback with a new EP titled Ubizo, The Calling. The, the musician is no stranger to the world of music and a self-taught classic acoustic guitarist, bassist, pianist, vocal interpreter. He fell in love with a guitar in 2010 after seeing it for the first time. And since then, he's never looked back. And this morning, he joins us now via Skype to tell us more about uh, this body of work that he's just released. Zbeko, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Good morning, Sophia. Thank you for coming on. Just how difficult has it been for you as an artist to practice your craft under the current situation of the level four of the lockdown that you found ourselves in? Um, you know, it's tough because I cannot... Number two, I cannot interact with other artists, other talents that I want to interact with. Um, and another thing, most importantly, I cannot um, live the day-to-day -day life whereby that's where I get more inspiration because I get inspiration from a lot of people when I, uh, I see around. I see so many, so many artists, um, you know, have been opting for the plan B, which is going online or just, uh, you know, releasing their music online or doing the performances online. So what has been your plan B? Um, that's true. My plan B as well is releasing online. The nice part about it, releasing online, is I finally found myself a deal, which I got uh, in the U.S. Uh, the, from a record label titled Kabiu Music. So it definitely worked well for me. And the nice thing about it is, you know, since everyone is indoors, online is, you know, views as well are getting in, streams, more purchases. So I'd say I, um, I appreciate the lockdown as well because it got me to be discovered even more. Wow. So you got the attention, you caught the attention of uh, US-based record labels. How did that come about? Um, you know, the funny part is I realized that my little Africa did the song with a legendary Kunde Ayo, the jazz musician. After making that song, I released the song as I worked to Ubizo, my current EP. You know, they found that uh, the previous work that I've done and the work that I've done. They, they, um, they called me via uh, my Facebook and then we interacted and then I, I brought my team into it and then I signed the deal December. Man. And you've just released Ubizo, The Calling. What has been the response like so far? Um, truly speaking, the response has been very great. A lot of people say, you know, I outdid myself. Um, I did that. just didn't outdid myself. I did the best as I did with the first one. So Ubizo, um, it actually was a confirmation for me that I am on the right path and whatever I'm doing, I'm changing people's life. Because every time when my people are listening to my music, you know, they become touched. As usual, I say, like, I believe my music, it's a universal language that speaks to every living being in this world. Through it, it also brings me closer to my creator, it gave me this talent, because without my creator, none of this would be possible. You know, as much as I'd like to believe that I'm the talented one, I believe that there's a higher force that's enforcing this music inside of me so that you people in the physical world can be able to receive the music. That's why every time when I release my music and someone is playing my music, they become touched. It's because I pray to my creator that they may open, my creator may open their spiritual ears so that when the music reaches to them, it may touch the soul. That's right. And talk to us, uh, if you can, about the content that's carried through your music. What really motivates you? Um, number one, what really motivates me is my situation, how I was brought up. I, I'm a very ancestral person and uh, a person who believes a lot in my ancestors. So, you know, it, it comments a lot and it comes together. So my ancestors inspire me. How my grandfather came from country to make a living here. Um, my stories and another thing is people are suffering, you know. So as people are suffering... I see like it's my responsibility to make sure that people, you know, they find some kind of a comfort, you know. So I believe I'm that, uh, I'm that person who's been called to comfort people. Because I'd, I'd like to see myself more as like the prophets, you know, um, people's spiritual healers. Because being given such a talent, you're responsible to people's, you know, happiness, to people's souls. So I want to heal. Is your spirituality, as you say, reflected um, in any sense in your music? Yes, it is, because if you listen to my music most of the time, it's storytelling. So I don't just release music for the sake of releasing music. Number one, when I make music, I make sure that there's a target that I want to meet.
when I say there's a target I want to meet, there's, there's uh, a certain people that I want to I wanna heal spiritually because there are many untold stories not told. That's why a lot of people are not going forward because the truth are not told. So I believe as a person, like I mentioned, I, I, I'm a spiritual being through music as music has a lot as um, much power to communicate with spirit. I can I, I can't do that. So I think my music impact a lot when it comes to that. Sure. And when you look back at the journey that you've traveled so far with your music, what more do you think you still need to do? Um, truly speaking, there's a lot I need to do. In the world, we're like more than one billion. So I haven't even reached 50 million. So I still need to reach a billion people before I leave planet Earth or before I die. So I can say, number one, I need to even improve my, my what do you call it, my, my, my production every day. I need to surprise myself every day. I also need to make sure that my writing skills, you know, they, they improve as well. I need to travel more so that I can see what other people in, the, what other people in other countries are doing so that I can get stories to write about. Because if I say I want to inspire the whole world, but I end up in South Africa, then that dream won't be able to be reached in the whole world. I have to make sure that I also travel. You know, so far I've traveled to uh, um, Lesotho, I've traveled to Zimbabwe. Um, I was supposed to go to Botswana due to lockdown. You know, unfortunately, I cannot go, to, go there anymore. And uh, Zimbabwe as well. So, yeah, I think I still need to grow there. And I, another thing, I still need to grow in terms of uh, my, you know, sharpening my ear. I believe in growth and being limitless. Great stuff, man. Quite inspirational, isn't it? And, uh, you know, you have a song titled Amanga. Who did you work with and uh, on what platform is it available on? Okay, uh, on Amanga, I worked with a very talented lady uh, called um, Nomkulo. Her real name is Sizakele. So I had her, her voice. She has got a very beautiful voice. And as a music producer and a songwriter, you know, I, I can be able to mix the voice and, the, and my writing to work together. The music is available on all online stores such as uh, Google Play, iTunes, um, Tidal, uh, and many more, YouTube as well. But the song Among actually is to inspire um, a lot of women, you know, since you know that it's a tough time for Aban Besfazani. So it's, it's a comfort song. It's a comfort song. Zipeko, thank you so much for chatting to us. And I quite like what you said, that uh, you want to surprise yourself. I can only imagine the kind of effect that would have on us. Thank you so much for chatting to us this morning, and all the best. That was music producer Rivoningo Zipeko Mtombeni talking to us about his newly released EP titled Ubizo, The Calling, as well as his musical career.